team looking? How you feeling? Great. I feel really good, actually. Um, you know, I think our team has finally matured. Um, now, all the guys on the team are, are guys that I recruited. Uh, so that's always nice to have guys that <clears throat> come into the program with a certain understanding and expectations of philosophy and, and, the, and the like. Um, we had a really productive summer. Um, Ninety-five percent of the team was here, uh, getting extra workouts with the, with the coaches and spending time in the weight room and um, worked our summer camp. So uh, we all the guys were together working on a common goal, and uh, for us that's huge. Um, a few years ago, we didn't. It was kind of willy-nilly who was here uh, training and such. So. Putting that work in together has not only made them better athletes and fine-tuned their game, but they've also come together as a team. So that's really big for us. Um, uh, this year we have pretty solid leadership. That was something that took a couple of years to put into place. We had pretty good results last year with Dominic Castle <clears throat> as one of our seniors. So um, this year we don't have any seniors, uh, but we do have a pretty large junior class which was part of the first recruiting class I had. So to have those guys rise to the occasion of being the leaders of the team has really motivated them and uh, really set the, the, the tone for the um, chemistry of the team. So our freshman class coming in, what, what they see, this is all that they know. So to see, uh, understand and listen to the kind of summer and what took place um, on the mat in our training as well as what's expected academically uh, socially, um, so yeah, f that's a big part of the reasons I, f I feel pretty good. Um, a, a big addition this year was Mike Evans, uh, one of our new assistant, our new assistant coach. He was a three-time NC All-American at Iowa, so to have him come in, coming from one of the storied programs, is uh, really huge for us. And uh, the guys have really adapted well to him, and um, he certainly helped helped me out and Coach Sentez out in, in all of our efforts from training to recruiting and the like. So, um, yeah, we feel really good about the environment this year. Perfect. Um, <clears throat> is the Pac-12 just as competitive? As I think it's a lot tougher, actually. Um, uh, Oregon State is, you know, the returning champs. They're strong and they're young. Um, Arizona State had the number one recruiting class in the country, so they're really strong. Um, Stanford is strong, who we'll see in a few days. Um, Boise, yeah, I mean, if, if you look at, a, at the conference across the board, everybody's better. So um, that makes it competitive, but that, that, that's good for the conference and good for our guys to see that level of competition. What do you know about Stanford and how do you feel the team is prepared to face them uh, next week? Uh, Stanford returns a lot of guys. Um, I don't think, I think they lost a couple guys, but they had an All-American last year who's back. Um, they have a couple guys coming out of red shirt, so they're, they're definitely going to be strong. They've recruited well in the last few years. Um, but, you know, I've heard different things about guys dropping weight or going up a weight, so we're not exactly sure about that. We're really trying to focus most <clears throat> importantly on uh, some of the things we saw from the green gold over the weekend to uh, just kind of tighten up our game and make sure that we're ready for our first competition. So we feel good about it. Um, you know, to reflect on the green gold, our young guys uh, didn't show any of our upperclassmen respect, and um, a couple of the guys uh, uh, won their bouts against upperclassmen. So we feel that's that's a good good sign for us, and that they're coming in and they're ready to, to get to become starters right away. And is it exciting for the team to start off like at home in the UU Plaza against such a yeah. tough competitor? Yeah, that's become a really exciting. Guy thing and event for our team to look forward to. So um, that's, it always turns out a larger percentage of students because it's uh, in the afternoon. But to have people walking by and take a few minutes to either watch the whole duel or we've had lots of people who brother, like a girl who brother, whose brother had wrestled in high school or some guys who had wrestled in high school. And you know, they, it's a way to kind of bring them into our program and to let them know about the program here at Cal Poly. You've got some really good uh, teams coming in this year, don't you, with yeah. Stanford and Duke and Oregon State, Arizona State, Boise State. I mean, those are some of the best schools in the country, aren't they? Yeah, the Pac-12, as, as I said, is really strong this year. Um, we wrestle Old Dominion. Um, we have, as you said, Duke is coming in. I don't know. I know we haven't wrestled them since I've been here. 
the goal is to present uh, different teams to our a different competition to our to our individuals on the team so they can help themselves get to the NCAA tournament. So the way they determine that is is just like college basketball, we have an RPI and so the the better the quality of competition that our wrestlers defeat, uh, the, the more likely they go into the coaches rankings, the more likely um, they have an opportunity to have a higher RPI and, and thus qualify for the NCAA. So, you know, there's at the NCAA tournament, it's it, it's the best teams in the country, so we want to make sure we're seeing those guys throughout the season. Why do you wrestle Old Dominion in Gilroy? Um, it just so happened uh, there, there, there's a quad meet there. Um, they wanted us to be a part of it. Um, teams will often come out to California, and we all kind of share teams. So, for example, when Duke comes here, they're probably going to wrestle Bakersfield or Stanford. Um, uh, Drexel is coming here to wrestle us, and then they're going to enter a tournament at the Roadrunner Open. So California is a great destination for teams back east, and, and that's just kind of been a trend that's been going on for a while. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Brent. Thanks.